The idea that rich countries could financially support poorer states at the front lines of climate change effects known as loss and damage has been a central priority for island nations for the past 30 years. Seychelles president praised on Monday the UN Climate Conference for including key issue of loss and damage on its agenda. The loss and damage uh, project agenda is one which is very important and amongst the small island states, we are definitely pushing for that. Earlier, I announced that the Seychelles next year will be protecting the, uh, the mangrove uh, forest and the seagrass meadows at 100%. And what does that mean? It means blue carbon. Also speaking at the same COP27 event was Botswana president, who acknowledged the challenge to adapt to climate change while developing economies to be able to sustain the momentum of growth. We are racing against time now. We've got to make sure that we adapt. And part of the adaptation is going to be how we develop our economies to be able to sustain the momentum of growth. Part of the adaptation is going to be how we invest in our young people to make sure that they acquire the right skills and education to be competitive uh, in the world. And part of adaptation is to measure their levels of temperature, the, the levels of uh, impact on adverse uh, uh, weather patterns on our agriculture, our food systems and our infrastructure. On the sidelines of COP27, the president of UAE and Egypt witnessed the signing of an agreement on Tuesday to develop one of the world's largest onshore wind projects in Egypt.